Good morning. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend and welcome to our bright and early Monday morning um, devotional as we continue our brand new series, My Only Hope. Before we get started, quick reminder, don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, and our topic for discussion is actually the title of the series, My Only Hope. And today's text uh, for scripture can be found in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 16 through 19. And you guys, this has been such a heavy, heavy, rough week. It, it's weighed so heavily on my heart and soul as I know it has for so many of you. I have had um, numerous conversations over the past several days with um, loved ones and family members and friends about all of the current problems that our nation is experiencing from the injustice, um, hatred, racism, loss, all in the middle uh, of a pandemic because people have seemingly forgotten about that because you know things are reopening but there are still COVID cases. I have friends that are physicians uh, all across the country. It is still a struggle and sometimes it can seem that all of these things compounded are against us and it can seem like the obstacles are just insurmountable because at present time all of these institutions that have been um, designated to help to heal to serve to protect they have failed us over the last few months um, from every arena whether it be um, health organizations um, in the political arena in uh, with government um, elected officials with leaders um, and employers with so many job losses um, and if we are not careful all of the negative imagery that we're constantly bombarded with it can make us sink deeper and deeper into despair until we ultimately start to experience hopelessness but the truth of the matter is that we are never ever without hope the, the bad thing about the situation is that we placed our hope in things that can never sustain us anyway. The truth of the matter is that our one true hope is God and God alone. Only He is faithful. Only He is perfect, complete, and lacking nothing. And only He can fill in the gaps and supply our every need. The Bible says that God gave Jesus a name that is above every name, and that name is exalted above racism, above hatred, above loss, above pain, above sickness, even above the darkest of forces that would try to threaten our very lives, causing us to fall into despair and hopelessness. And our scripture text for today just highlights um, the essence of hope, how we obtain hope, and how vital it is to our existence. And like I said, the text is found in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 16 through 19. And it says, Now when people take an oath, they call on someone greater than themselves to hold them to it. And without any question, that oath is binding. God also bound himself with the oath so that those who received the promise could be perfectly sure that he would never change his mind. So God has given both his promise and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls, and it leads us through the curtain into God's inner sanctuary. So faith is absolutely vital to our existence and to fulfilling the destiny that he has called us to. 
In fact, um, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 13 tells us that when everything is said and done, when, when everything else fades away, three things will remain. And those three things are faith, hope, and love. And as our scripture text for today tells us that hope serves as an anchor for our soul. And when we think about an anchor, what typically comes to mind is a boat or a ship. Even in the calmest of weather conditions, a boat has an anchor. And without that anchor, it can drift from shore. And if left unchecked, it can drift so far from shore that it takes uh, considerable effort to retrieve it and bring it back to its original destination. It's even further compounded during a storm because during a storm, if a boat is not properly anchored, then the boat can drag and ultimately suffer severe damage and even loss. As it is with the boat, so it is with us. When we begin to experience hopelessness, we then begin to encounter loss, damage, and delay. Left to our own devices, without the anchor of hope in God, we drift aimlessly, never ever reaching our intended target. But the good news is that God longs to sustain us during difficult times. The problem lies within us because instead of putting our hope and our trust in Him, we trust in things that are so temporary and cling to these things. So then when they're taken away, we fall into despair and hopelessness. For some people, you trust in your job and yourself to provide. So when your job is taken away or you're no longer able to work, you become hopeless. But the truth of the matter is you're still never without hope because the Bible promises us that God, Jehovah Jireh, will supply every single need. He's our provider, not our job. When we encounter sickness and the doctor says that there's nothing else that they can do, we become hopeless. But the truth of the matter is we are not without hope because our hope is not in the doctor, not in medicine, our hope is in God who is our healer all throughout this season God has constantly showed me areas where uh, I use things as a crutch to kind of cope and as those things have been taken away one by one I started to fall into hopelessness um, I felt that God wasn't with me, but the truth is he was always there. I just didn't need those things. And he showed me that I was using these things as a crutch. And if I truly believe in his word, his word tells me that I'm strong in him and the power of his might. That when I am weak, you know, because of him, I'm strong. That in him, I'm a new creature. I I'm a new creation. So why am I walking around as if I'm wounded and in need of assistance and a crutch? I'm not. So I don't need those things. I just need to trust in him. Um, as Proverbs 3 verse 5 through 6 instructs, instructs us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not until our own understanding. And that if we acknowledge him and only him in all of our ways, then he will direct our path. He will make the crooked ways straight. Psalms 91 also tells us that God is our refuge and because of our hope in him, we can abide in his love and his protection that we don't have to fear the terror that flies by night or the destruction that lays waste or the sickness that threatens to take our lives. His promise to be with us coupled with his oath is immutable fact and never changes. It's the same word that he spoke into existence at the, at the um, foundation of the world during the creation story when he created the heavens and the earth. This same word and oath that he swore by himself that he would bless Abraham and he indeed fulfilled his word and he longs to do the same for you. So we have to know above all that we are never ever 
without hope. As long as we trust in God, we always have hope. And he's a God that we can trust. As our scripture reference said, he, he's, he's a man that he cannot lie. It's impossible for him to lie. So whatever he says, if he says he's with us, he's with us. If he says he's our provider, he's our provider. We don't have to worry. We don't have to fret. All we have to do is trust him. I pray that you guys were encouraged by this. As always, I hope that you be well. I hope that you remain in faith and that you don't lose heart. Don't grow weary in well-doing. Don't cast away your confidence because it has great reward. Trust in God. Trust in Him. And you will never, ever be disappointed. Don't forget to like, comment, tell me what you th tell me what you thought, um, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you guys have an amazing Monday and rest of the week, and that you join me next week as we continue our series, My Only Hope, and we will uh, resume our discussion for part two of the purpose of pain. See you soon.